in cooking up infrastructure with Chef, we're going to talk about how we can actually take our applications to the cloud and automate how we deal with the infrastructure that we need. Now, how we work with servers in the cloud isn't all that different from how we've traditionally done it in data centers. So it's useful to look at how we've done this in the past. Well, what we did in the past was typically we would assign an individual to a server and they would handcraft that server as an artisan would handcraft something. They would become the owner of it. They would spend all of their time with it. They would uh, become a knowledge expert in it. And when the server became sick, they would nurse it back to health. Well, if you talk about working in the cloud and thousands upon thousands of servers, obviously that's, that doesn't scale. We need some sort of automation. Well, how we automated things in the past was ad hoc scripting. We'd write a set of scripts that just did what the person would do. We'd copy these to the servers, execute them, and that's how things would get done. Well, over time, those scripts would start to diverge from one another, and we'd have an even bigger problem. So we moved back to this idea of SSH in a for loop. Let's just pull those scripts back to a single repository and then SSH into the servers, for loop over all the servers we need to manage, and that's how we would do things. And that kind of represented the state of the art. Well, we've now moved into a new age where we want to get away from this ad hoc scripting in a for loop and move towards declarative infrastructure as code. Let's talk about what we want the servers to look like, not how we want them to look that way, and let's move towards letting a tool make those decisions for us. So one of those tools is Chef. Chef is a very powerful framework that helps us to automate sysadmin tasks. And it was one that emerged as being targeted directly at how do we do work in the cloud. It has three core areas of competence, the first of which is provisioning. How do we create new servers? One of the great things about Chef is that it integrates with virtually any type of infrastructure management. We can integrate with bare metal things like Kickstart. We can integrate with hypervisor tools such as VMware. We can integrate with cloud platforms like Rackspace and Amazon Web Services. Once we've created the servers, how do we make those servers into something useful? Let's say I want to create a web server or a database server or a load balancer. Chef has another core piece that helps us to configure those servers and make a server into a server that can, I can say is, this is a web server. This is a uh, database server. The last mile that Chef really helps us to cover is integration. I now have all of these servers out in the cloud that have roles. How do I make them talk to one another? Chef has a very powerful data store that's searchable that allows me to dynamically discover if I'm a web server, what database server should I be talking to? If I'm a load balancer, what web servers are available for me to send requests to? Um, some very important additional features of Chef is that it is also idempotent. It allows me to run the very same configuration many, many times over and I will get the same result. If nothing is diverged in the server's configuration, nothing will actually happen. It also takes the stance that order matters. It doesn't try to figure out what are the relationships between your packages and services, but it allows you to just simply declare them in a certain order and Chef will always execute them in that order. Now those are some very important features of Chef and we'll get into the details, but the most important thing is that we'll actually show you how to do something real. We'll do a case study where we take a Java web application and have absolutely no infrastructure in the cloud, bootstrap servers, set up the necessary middleware, deploy the application, and we'll do none of that manually and we'll actually take about 30 minutes to get it done.